Shalom. Kohalal, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. That were honest to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom, to the Akiam and to the Akwaf, that will be you brothers and sisters, Adawan Rataza. That is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And today's lesson is going to be entitled, One Thing is for Sure, the Words of the Lord, Prophecies. Or the prophecies okay one thing is for sure the words of the Lord prophecies or the prophecies okay um, so yes to what you have a for putting the spirit on me to do this lesson um, you want I got a few precepts lined up here and Lord willing by the end of this lesson you be edified okay so um yeah you know, um, the word of the Lord is faithful and true, man. Okay, all right. Um, the Lord makes He makes good on um, on His words. Okay, He's the Almighty Power. All right, and um, His words are, are faithful and true. Okay, Yahweh. All right, Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. Uh, uh, the Heavenly Father, okay, um, whose name is Yahweh, okay, Yah means He, Hawa means is, all right, exists to be, all right, uh, this, this begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, all right, Yah means uh, He, Hawa Shai, saves or deliver, okay, um, yeah, man. The, 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 the one thing you could bank on or count on for uh, for sure, all right, is the words of the Lord. Okay, um, things are gonna come to pass that is uh, uh, spoken, okay, or uh, cost to be written down on paper, all right. Uh, future events. Even uh, things that were uh, spoken of, all right, all right, in the beginning, things that uh, came to pass already, all right, and things that the Lord declared that uh, still is left to come to pass. Okay, so one thing is one thing is for sure, man, is the words of the Lord, all right, especially the prophecies, all right. So um, yeah. Uh, let's get some precepts, and uh, Lord willing, by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. Um, this is the book of Second Peter, Second Peter chapter one, and verse nineteen, and it says, "We have also a more sure word of prophecy." Okay, we have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed. All right, the, the, the words of the Lord are sure, man. Faithful and true, so it, it would behoove you to take heed to the words. Okay, it says, "As a as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn, and the day star rise in your hearts." Okay, and that's speaking of your house shy. All right, uh, how does he stop with you through the spirit? Um, Revelation three and uh, twenty. Behold, I stand at the door and knock, and if any man open, I will come into him and sup with him. All right. Um, reading on verse 20 it says knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation so the words of the Lord okay when he when he set these words okay these are not set to be interpreted any way that you want to interpret them no okay they are to be interpreted the way the Lord intended them to be interpreted in truth all right you see? So it says, verse 21. 
For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Right? So this is this is the word of the Lord here, man. Okay? This is the true saying. All right? The words of the Lord, man. His words are faithful and true. Sure. One thing is for sure, the words of the Lord. The prophecies. Okay? And there's no going around his words. Okay? Because his, his, his words are pure words. Okay? Um, let's get that in uh, Psalms. Psalms, the 12th chapter and the 6th verse. All right, it says, the words of the Lord are pure words, okay? A silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. If you know uh, anything about the scriptures, okay, you know uh, the number seven is a spiritual number, which represents uh, completion. So, so these words are completed, man, okay? A, a silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified Seven times the Lord, words of the Lord are pure words. Okay, verse seven it says, "Thou shalt keep them, O Yahweh. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever." Okay, so His words abided forever. Okay. Um. Let's go to the book of uh, Isaiah, and we're gonna get Isaiah chapter forty-two. This is Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 8. It says, I am Yahweh, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another. It says, it says, neither my praise to graven images. Verse 9, behold, the former things are come to pass, right? So things that were, were spoken of in the beginning, all right, uh, from ancient times, you have a lot of them came to pass already. All right, certain prophecies, right? And it says, Behold the former things. I could think of a few, okay, uh, things that were spoken of in, 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 in prophecy. Uh, for example, um, World War One was prophesied in the scriptures, all right? Revelation chapter 9, and verse 12 speaks about World War One. That's that, that, that was prophesied in the scriptures to come to happen, and it happened already. World War One was nineteen fourteen through nineteen nineteen, okay. Um, World War Two prophesied to come to pass, right? In the scriptures, Revelation chapter eleven and verse uh, fourteen, right? That was prophesied over two thousand years ago, and it came to pass nineteen thirty nine, right? Uh, through nineteen forty five. See, World War Three is in there also. Now that's a prophecy that's prophesied over two thousand years ago, also. Revelation 16 and 16, Revelation 8 and 13, okay? But guess what? It's soon to come to pass, okay? It's spoken of in the scriptures, so it must happen because the spoken word of the Lord, all right, uh, is faithful and true. The written word of the Lord is faithful and true, okay? Uh, uh, slavery uh, coming, uh, uh, our people, all right, being brought over here, from, from the west coast of Africa to the Americas, that's prophesied in, in, in the scriptures, okay? Uh, as part of uh, the curses that we live under, the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter and the 16th verse, it says we'd be brought to Egypt again in ships, not ancient Egypt, that's speaking of America, because America is known as spiritual Egypt when you read Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8, okay? The, the Lord said he would bring, bring our people back to Egypt again in ships. So that was prophesied Many, 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 many moons ago, and it came to pass. See, so you have prophecies that came to pass already, and you have prophecies that haven't come to pass as yet, like World War Three. Okay, that's that's still left to come to pass. All right, Revelation 13 16, which goes into the Karagma, the mark of the beast, that's still left to come to pass. But we're seeing these things, uh, uh, uh being we see the infrastructure being laid for these things, man. We've seen the gathering of the nations, which is the Lord mustering the host of the battle. Okay, the Lord is the one who's doing it. All right, because his words are faithful and true. You see? So reading on again, it says, Behold, the former things are come to pass, as I just mentioned a few. 
uh, prophecies. And it says, the new things do I declare, speaking of the prophecies. It says, before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Right, so how did the Lord tell you of them? Through his men, through the prophets, man. As a matter of fact, let's get another a scripture that comes to mind. I didn't put it on the list, but you know what? Uh, spread, send me to grab it. Isaiah 34 and 16. Okay. This is Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 16. And it says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. It says, No one of these shall fail. Right? So when it says, No one of these shall fail, it's speaking of the prophecies. That's, that's written in the book. All right. It says, None shall want her mate. Right. Meaning no other book could be compared with the Holy Scriptures. No other book you could think of could be pair, could, uh, could compare to the Scriptures. Why? Because the Scriptures is a living book. Okay. This is a living book, man. This has prophecies in it. Okay, things that were spoken of, all right, written enough to come to pass, and some of them came to pass already. We just read the precept, and you still have more to come to pass, all right? So no other book could be compared to this book because this is the only book that has prophecies in it, okay? It says, none shall want her mate, right? No other book could be compared to it. It says, for my mouth it had gathered, it's like it, for my mouth, for my mouth it hath commanded, right? And his spirit, it had gathered them. So this is the book, man. Okay? Which, which contains the prophecies, man. All right? The spoken word of the Lord. Okay? And his words are faithful and true. So going back, we're going to go to Isaiah chapter 46. Okay? This time we're going to go to Isaiah 46. And show you how the counsel of the Lord is that that's going to stand. Okay? Because the Most High is in control of all things. So it says, Isaiah 40, Isaiah 46 uh, and verse 10. It's outside at 9. It says, Remember the former things of old, for I am Yahweh, and there is none else. I am Yahweh, and there is none like me. Okay? It says, Declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done. Okay? Saying, my counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. Right? So the counsel of the Lord, all right, is, 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 that, is his counsel that's going to stand, man. His will and thought, uh, 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 intents, purposes, and plans. All right? That's, that's what's going to stand, the counsel of the Lord. Okay? So even though <laughs> you might think certain things might be tiring, it's going to come to pass. Let's go to Habakkuk. Okay? Habakkuk chapter 2, we'll start at verse 1 and read down to verse 3. It says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Verse 2, it says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth. Okay? Okay, he, he, that he may run that readeth it. Okay, because he's supposed to get this word. Okay, he, scripture said, eat the whole roll, go out and teach the people. Okay, so it says, verse 3, this is the point. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. It says, but at the end it shall speak, right, and not lie. Though it tarry, all right, though it might seem like it's taking a while, right? Remember, the Lord is, 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 is long suffering. All right, it says, Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. Okay, we have a more sure word of prophecy. One thing is for sure: this, this, the words of the Lord. All right. One thing is for sure: the words of the Lord, the prophecies. All right. It says it will surely come. It will not tarry. So, at some point, it's going to come to pass. It's going to be made manifest. Okay. And that's for certain. You see? Uh, scripture that come to mind. Spirit sending me to grab it. Uh, what's the second Ezra? It's not a precept I didn't have on the list. I'm going to grab this precept right here. It says, second Ezra chapter uh, uh, 15 and verse 1. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, is that the Lord? And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Right? See, this is how you got the scriptures. The Lord caused them to be written in paper, man. He's the almighty power. He could do, uh, he can have done what he want to be done. All right? Um, 
It says, verse 3, Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity, which means unbelief, of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Right? It says, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Right? You don't want to believe this word. Okay? That's, that's going to be the end result. You see? Because the Most High is going to do all his pleasure, man. It's not, it's, not, it's not going around it. Okay? So, I got a couple of more precepts here. We're going to get to them. And we can wrap the lesson up. Let's go to the book of uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter uh, 28 and verse 8. And it says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, right? And who sent them? All right? The Lord is the one who, send, who sends the prophets, man. All right? To speak to kings and, all right, different uh, 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 empires and, okay? The Lord is, is the one who, uh, in the time of uh, Egypt, right? You, you, heard our, you heard our forefather, um, Joseph, all right, in Egypt, right? In the time of who? The, the Babylonians, you had Daniel, okay? Yeah, you have different, different prophets, okay? In the time of different kings who the law would use to, to speak to these kings, man, okay? So it says, uh, verse 9, the prophet which prophesied of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord had truly sent him, right? Because what was written of or, or, or spoken of, when it finally come to pass, that's how you're going to know that the, the word of the Lord is faithful and true, that a prophet was truly among you. Okay, let's get that in Ezekiel. All right, straight to the point. Book of Ezekiel, chapter 33, and verse 33. Okay, so this is uh, Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter uh, 33, verse 33. Straight to the point it says, And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come, okay? Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them, right? Because the prophet always come to give you the, the, the warning or, or to tell you of, of what's going to happen before it happens. That was the prophet, okay? Prophesy means to, to, to say before. Okay. Pro meaning before for, for sign meaning to tell. Okay. Uh to prophesy, to say before, future events. Okay. Um and when that actually come to pass, that's how you're gonna know that 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 that, that person was a man of the Lord, a prophet. Okay. So let's get uh we got two more and we can close it out. Uh, let's go to the book of Romans. Okay. Romans chapter 3, because if you if you don't believe what is being said here, all right, that's not going to stop, all right, the intense thoughts and purposes of the Lord. It says, Romans chapter 3 and verse 3, it says, For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? You see, it says, God forbid, yea, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged, right? Your unbelief is not going to stop the effect of the Most High, man. All right? The Lord is going to do all his pleasure. And the counsel of the Lord is that that's going to stand. So at the end of the day, you cannot, you cannot uh, uh, go around it in any type of way, man. All right? You see? Because if, 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 if it be of men, all right? You can overthrow it, but if it be of the Most High, you cannot over, overthrow it, man. You're going to find yourself fighting with the Most High, which is a battle that you're going to sorely lose. All right? The scripture tells you it's a, it's, a, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Okay? So let's get one more. We can close it out here. All right? Because the Lord is going to do, all right, uh, all his pleasure. His counsel is going to stand. The words of the Lord are faithful and true. What do you say he's going to do? He's going to do it. All right, so let's get Numbers. Maybe we can end here. Numbers uh, 23 and verse 19. Okay, this is the book of Numbers, chapter 23 and verse 19. And it says, 
Yahweh, all right, the Most High, the Heavenly Father, all right. They say the Most High is not a man that he should lie, neither the Son of Man that he should repent. Had he said, and shall he not do it? Or had he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Okay, see? So it's not going around, man. All right? One thing is for sure, the words of the Lord. All right? The prophecies. Okay? So I'm going to read it one more time again. We can close it out. Numbers 23 and verse 19. All right? The Most High is not a man that he should lie, neither the Son of Man that he should repent. Had he said, and shall he not do it? Or had he spoken, and shall he not make it good? All right, so the Lord is going to make it good. That's why his words are faithful and true. All right, so one thing is for sure, the words of the Lord. All right, prophecies, or the prophecies. All right, so Lord, when you were edified, I'm going to end the day giving all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh, Shai, Bahasham, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. With that, until the next time, Shalom.